Hi, and thank you for joining us at the Raven's Nest. Today we're going to show you how to hook up a server power supply for your next rig build. Uh, they're definitely the best option for GPU mining rigs, and they run at an efficiency. This particular model that we have here runs at a 94% platinum efficiency rating. It's an HP unit at 110 or 120 volts, which is the normal plug-in in a house. It runs at 900 watts. And if you happen to you know, use your laundry plug-in or anything like that in your house that's a 210 or a 220, you can get 1200 watts out of it. And the power supply here to the left is just a typical ATX power supply like you would use for a computer. It's not in the same shape that you're used to. This is a model I specifically found that I've been using on my rigs. It's very low wattage. It runs at about 110 watts max. But it has all of the same connectors and plugs and everything for your motherboard that you would typically have on any ATX model. So we're just going to use this for the video and I'm going to show you how to hook everything together and make it to where your rig simply turns on with a push button just like it normally would but all of your GPUs and your main power hungry items are going to run off of your server power for maximum efficiency so let's get going now first I just want to explain real quick how all this hooks up and everything works and what you're going to need to make it properly function and power everything when you turn your rig on. So the first thing you're going to need and for this video we're going to use this style of breakout board. It's the best in my opinion. It has a simple push button on off right here but we're not going to use that. We're going to ignore that. What is important here is we have a little four pin power it's for a 3.5 floppy disk power drive connector there we go you can see it's just four pins and most older style ATX power supplies have built in a 3.5 floppy power that you're just going to connect right into there and what that'll do is when you turn your computer on which will turn on this ATX power supply it will send a signal to this connector here by putting power to it that will tell this whole unit when it's put together to turn on now if you don't have like say you have one of the newer ATX models or a modular power supply you can get one of these adapters which works perfectly well all it is is a four pin Molex to that 3.5 floppy power connector and with this you can just use any Molex connector this one has one on it I could use that if I wanted to instead and hook it up to there now I'm gonna get this all hooked up and show you kinda what it looks like laid out hooked up alright so here I have everything hooked up together how you're gonna do it to get power to your GPUs and let's explain the aspects here so here we've got that 3.5 floppy power I was talking about plugged in to the breakout board. And then from the breakout board we have two 6-pin ATX power connectors. And just to show you what these are, they are a 6-pin on one end to go into the breakout board. And on the other end they are a 6-pin with an optional 2 extra pin to make it an 8-pin. Most of the high power cards require an 8-pin. Some require two 8-pins. So you may need to get splitters. Because for each GPU what you're going to do is you're going to have two cords coming from here. One is going to power your actual riser and then the second cord you're going to have here is going to be plugged into the top of your GPU with that extra two pin drop pin added to it. You may again have to get a splitter that goes from a six pin PCI to a dual eight pin male ATX. So that way you can have power to this and then use one cable to power your GPU if it's if it requires two pl plug-ins. Now just one thing to note that 
total these can support 12 of these cables like I said it takes two to run a GPU and its PCI riser so you're gonna be able to run depending on power requirements up to six GPUs off of one of these boards now it does have power limitations so keep that in mind with the size of your GPUs as to how many you're hooking up to it alright now I'm gonna get this all on a rig for you and demonstrate real quick how it works Okay, and here I have everything hooked together just to show you real quick powering on and that everything works. Like you said, we've got our 3.5 four pin floppy plugged in. We've got our GPUs and our PCI risers all getting power directly from this. Then the motherboard is getting power from the ATX supply off of this power supply. And here we go with our power button. Turn it on, and voila. Now it's going to boot up. And that is how you hook up a server power supply. Please click the like button if this was informative. And subscribe if you'd like to see any more informational videos. Thank you.